depends on what you base your happiness on. As soon as you're happy with what you have, not what you want, that's it. That's the answer. This is the second time that I've been here. The first time that I came to England it was for six months as a tourist. As you know, being from another country, you always seen like pictures and movies all talking about London. And I remember once talking with one of my friends, we went to watch Fast and Furious. That's funny. And it was filmed on in some beat in London. We were living in Cancun and we were like, one day we're gonna be there. With the pass of the time. Uh, I got into a relationship. From that relationship, at the moment I have a kid. His name is Romeo. He's nearly two years old. So this time that I've been here basically was based on my son. For the first time of my life I was putting someone first than myself. I lived in Italy and um, my dad was a farmer. My dad died uh, when I was uh, not even 10 years old. So uh, in Italy when someone does a job like that really there's not much, not much uh, hope for the children or the wife. My reason for moving here is because there are better job opportunities. Also, I came here because my dad lives here and my mum couldn't, um, she couldn't handle the pressure of having two kids, so my dad decided to take me and I had to leave my half-sister behind. People could be quite rude sometimes, especially if you're a foreigner. Something that I hate is that they always take the pace about my accent. My situation is not the best one. It's really difficult to get a visa. You have to struggle. They want you to survive with no wages, with no, I call it NHS. I think the only thing that I would like to change is like not to make it that difficult for people who want to do it the right way. When I came over to England in 1956, it was very, very hard to adapt to uh, the English way of life. It was cold, uh, had to go to school, uh, didn't know how to speak English, but um, I learned to speak English after about three or four months, so I could converse with the other children. Also, getting bullied at school by other kids, not actually bullied, they didn't last very long, the bullying, because I could take care of myself. And by the time I left, um, school, I was 15, not even 15, and I went straight into work. It took, took, I would say, five years really to completely adapt to the English way of life. When I first came here, I really hated it. Um, I cried every night, and my dad threatened to bring me back to Jamaica because <laughs> I was crying so much, I really hated it. What people over here think is warm, I think it's like really cold. But like on the other hand, the people here are really nice. When I started school, it was much better for me because I had the opportunity to interact with like both boys and girls, whereas at my old school it was just girls. I don't want to sound as an alcoholic, but one thing that I like is the pop culture. Like you can go there for a pint with your mates and have fun, talking about anything, football, family, something about the news and you can enjoy it. But also, you can go there and have a pint and sit next to someone that you don't even know and start a conversation. I wish I'd um, had more education, stayed on at school to have uh, maybe achieved a, you know, a, better, a better job. But I had to leave school at 15, really, to uh, be like one of the breadwinners in the house. My mum was working long hours to try and earn money. It was much different in Jamaica um, because they were much stricter. But never we were like really noisy. We'd get hit for it. And I realised that here you just get like detentions and stuff like, if you don't do a piece of homework. But in Jamaica it's much different. It's more, it's more basically like scolding you until you get it. I'd spend my Saturdays and Sundays out with all my cousins. Um, we'd play in the garden and stuff like that. Um, sometimes we go fishing um, or we might go bird shooting, which is quite good. But here, I wouldn't really do anything outdoors on Saturdays or Sundays. If we did go out, it would be doing something like 
for someone in the family. So you don't actually get very much free time when you're here. I think maybe because it's like much more fast paced. But recently I started working um, in retail. So my Saturdays and Sundays are dedicated to um, working. Also, I don't really have a lot of time to do what I'd like to do. This is a bit of my story being in England. And I would like to say, hasta la vista, baby. Mi, uh, mi piace tanto l'Inghilterra, eh, sono molti amici e eh, famiglia in Inghilterra. Grazie.